this video, you will learn how to perform a new time-saving technique for serial dilutions and subsequent spot plating that involves the use of multi-channel pipettes. Here is the equipment you will need. Before you start, make sure you calculate the dilutions you'll be using so you know how much diluent and sample you need for each step. First, you need to fill the wells in the mega block with your diluent. Pour enough diluent into a reservoir. Set a multi-channel pipette capable of holding your desired diluent volume to the proper amount and attach pipette tips to the pipette. In this example, we are using a diluent volume of 450 microliters. Insert the tips into the liquid in the reservoir and draw up. Ensure that all tips draw up the same amount. Then insert tips into the wells of the mega block where you want to transfer the liquid to and dispense. Repeat this step to fill all the wells you need for your dilution preparation. Next, use a single channel pipette to transfer the amount of each sample needed to make the first dilution into corresponding wells in the first row. Remember to change pipette tips between samples. You can label the rows with tape to help you remember where each sample should go. Before you make another dilution, take a 20 to 200 microliter multi-channel pipette with tips attached and set it to the right volume according to the dilution you want to make. Insert the tips of the pipette into the wells of the first dilution and press and release the plunger button about 20 times to mix the contents of the well. Then with empty tips, draw up the amount of solution you need from the first dilution and transfer it into the second row of wells where you want to make the second dilution. Here, the use of a multi-channel pipette and a mega block makes it possible to prepare serial dilutions for several samples at the same time. Make sure you only attach the number of pipette tips to your pipette that matches the number of samples used each time. Change the pipette tips before you proceed to mixing the second dilution. Repeat the previous step several times to make as many dilutions as you need. Always remember to change tips between dilutions to avoid carrying over any extra volume. Label an agar plate and draw a line down the middle of your plate at the bottom to divide the space in half. This allows you to plate two replicates of the same sample on the same plate. Set the volume of a 2 to 20 microliter multi-channel pipette to 10 microliters. You can choose which dilutions you want to plate. Here we made three dilutions for four samples and we will plate the first and second dilutions of the first sample as an example. Attach the number of tips onto your pipette that matches the number of dilutions you want to plate and insert the tips into the wells that hold the dilutions needed. Draw up 10 microliters of liquid and double check if the volume in each pipette tip is the same. With the tips touching the agar slightly, press the plunger button lightly to release small droplets of sample onto one half of the agar plate. Continue dispensing in a straight line until the 10 microliters of sample is all plated. Do not poke the agar with pipette tips and avoid dispensing large droplets of sample for easier colony counting. Repeat this step on the second half of the agar. After the plates are dry, invert them and incubate as needed. Here is a sample plate after incubation. To begin colony counting, start with the dilution row that has the least amount of colonies. You need to count both halves of the plate separately. Since the colonies might be small, make sure you count all colonies in each droplet. If the count of the most diluted column is within the countable range which is best between 10 and 80 colonies, record this value for further analysis. If it's out of the range, move on to the next dilution column and repeat the process until you obtain a plate count that's within the range. Thank you for watching.